Hello grade 11s, welcome to this lesson on kinetic theory. The word kinetic means movement. Kinetic theory describes the movement of molecules. We can't actually see these molecules to watch them move, so we need models to help us visualize how they might move. This is water as we see it in everyday life. Water is ice when it is frozen solid, and here is some liquid water. These are macroscopic views of water. Macro means large, micro means small. Scientists form models of what molecules of water might look like on the microscopic scale. These two examples of water are in different phases. According to kinetic theory, the movement of the molecules in a substance is related to the phase of the substance. In other words, whether the substance is in the solid, liquid, or gaseous phase. This is a microscopic view of ice. In other words, solid water. The water molecules are arranged in a regular crystal lattice. This is a simulation of how these molecules move. In the solid phase, they stay in their positions in the crystal and only vibrate. Particles in the solid phase only vibrate because they do not have much energy and have strong intermolecular forces of attraction which keep them in position in the crystal lattice. This is a microscopic view of liquid water. The water molecules are no longer arranged in a crystal lattice. The molecules flow over one another. Molecules in the liquid phase have more energy than in the solid phase and weaker intermolecular forces between them. When liquid water evaporates, it changes into a gas called water vapor. Macroscopically, water vapor is invisible, but it is all around us. Our skins feel humid when there is a lot of water vapor in the air. Here is a microscopic representation of water vapor. The particles jump around freely and fill their container. Gas particles jump around because they have a lot of energy and very weak intermolecular forces. Actually, in ideal gas theory, they have no intermolecular forces at all. Ideal means perfect or simplified. In another lesson, we will see that an ideal gas differs from a real gas in some ways. In this series, we focus on gases and their properties and behavior. It's important to understand gases because they affect our lives in many ways. The atmosphere is a mixture of gases which we call air. Changes in the temperature and pressure of the air affect our weather. Some spaceships use oxygen and hydrogen gases as fuel. Many factories use or produce gases. They may heat these gases to very high temperatures or cause their pressures to rise a lot. This can be very dangerous unless people at the factory understand the behavior of gases so that they know how to control them. On a smaller scale, we may use gases in our kitchens. We may have organic gases for heating. We may cook with a pressure cooker which uses water vapor under high pressure to speed up cooking. Since all gases behave in a very similar way, it is true to say gases have similar properties. Therefore, we can investigate how these properties affect gas behavior. The measurable properties are temperature, volume, pressure, amount of gas, and type of gas. Type of gas does not affect temperature, volume, and pressure. So to start with, we will only focus on these four properties. Let's start with temperature. We often speak about the temperature as hot or cold. But what does this mean on a microscopic level? In this simulation, we represent the molecules of a gas trapped inside a container. We can add heat energy to the gas by sliding this dial up. And we can remove heat energy from the gas by sliding this dial down. This thermometer tells us the temperature of the gas in the unit Kelvin. In everyday life, 
we measure temperature in degrees Celsius. Scientists prefer to measure temperature in the unit Kelvin. We discussed this more in another lesson. The symbol for temperature is T. We want to understand what temperature means at a microscopic level. So let's increase the gas's temperature and watch what happens. We heat the gas. Notice that the thermometer reading rises. Also notice how the particles move around faster and faster. Remember that the speed of particles is related to their kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy of movement. The temperature of a substance is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles of the substance. Or to be more exact, of the molecules of the substance. Note that we need to say average kinetic energy because the molecules are not all moving at the same speed. We are also familiar with the concept of volume. The symbol of volume is V. A gas's volume is how much space it takes up. We often measure gas volume in centimeters cubed, also called milliliters, or in decimeters cubed, also called liters. This container has a movable lid. This simulation shows a finger which pushes down on the lid to keep it where we want it to be. In this way, the volume of the trapped gas can be held constant. We can decrease the volume by pushing harder downward. The gas is now more compressed. We can expand the gas back to its original volume if we push downward less hard. Now let's discuss pressure. In everyday life, we may say something like, I'm under pressure. The everyday meaning of pressure is similar to the scientific meaning of pressure, force per area. In this case, the force is a push. So the pressure of the gas is how much the gas particles push against the sides of their container per unit area of the container size. As the particles hit against the sides of the container, they push the sides of the container. The more they do this, the more pressure they exert. In this simulation, we have a pressure gauge to show the pressure of the trapped gas. This gauge measures pressure in the unit atmospheres, written as ATM. The standard international unit for pressure is the Newton per meter squared, also called the Pascal. We often measure pressure in kilopascals. The symbol of pressure is P. To keep the lid on, this finger has to exert pressure downward on the gas to balance the pressure the gas exerts upward on the lid. These pressures must be equal but opposite so that the lid does not accelerate and so changes the gas's volume, as we've already seen. The next property we discuss is amount of gas. In other words, number of gas molecules. This simulation only shows a few gas molecules for simplicity. Actually, we have millions of molecules in a trapped gas. We know that we measure amount of particles in groups called moles. The symbol for amount of particles is N. In this simulation, we have a pump connected to the side of the container. We can add molecules into the container by moving the pump. In this way, we can increase the number of moles of trapped gas. This simulation also allows us to change the kind of molecules we have trapped in the container. We can use neon, argon, oxygen, or water. You can find the simulation we have used today on the FET website. The simulation's name is State of Matter Basics. It will help you to experiment with this simulation before you watch the other lessons in this series. Also remember the gases task video and look at the Mindset website at www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.